Hi there, it's Michael here at The Village Optician and today I was just wanting to talk to you a little bit about varifocals, about well what they are, how they work, things like that, because it's one of the things we always get asked. Uh, quite often people, uh, you know, they've heard of them, but they don't really know what they do, don't sort of understand how they work. So some of the commonest questions that we do get are about varifocals. So we'll go through that. Now I'm actually wearing varifocals and as you can see there's no little line, you know the, the bifocal, the old fashioned bifocal is the one with a line. Um, what the, the difference there is you've kind of got two areas of vision in the bifocal, you've got your distance vision and then you've got your line and your little segment which has the close vision and you've got that missing bit in the middle. Um, they kind of called it the, the jeweler's window effect where um, if you wanted to see the price of something in a jeweler's window but it's at the back of the display and you look through the bottom of your bifocal now you, you focus too close to see that far but then you can't see it with the top because it's not kind of close enough so the varifocal fills that gap as it were so a varifocal gradually changes the power from the top here by the pupils um, all the way down to the very bottom of the lens um, which has got the strongest reading power so you've got the power there for every distance away from you so you've got your close reading you've got your middle distances for computers laptops um, looking in a jeweler's window and all the way out to the far distance um, so yeah so that sounds great you know um, but there are a few issues with varifocals so the way it works as the power changes down the lens we've got to change that curve in the lens to create a different power so all lenses spectacle lenses are down to the material that's used to make the lens uh, based on how much it bends the light and the curves on that lens so we have to change the curve down the lens to create the different power, which sounds great, brilliant. But actually physics doesn't like that. Physics says no, definitely not. So that will actually just create a massive blur, a big distortion. So all varifocals have the distortion pushed out to the sides. Okay. Um, that's the design of the lens. We make a big deal about the lens design. What have they done to that lens to improve the areas of clear vision and reduce the distorted areas, you know? So that's what we talk about when we talk about lens design. And that is the critical thing about varifocals, is the design of the lens. Um, some people who already wear varifocals will probably know there's not just a varifocal. If there was one perfect varifocal, that would be wonderful. All opticians could offer you the same, base, you know, great varifocal, but there's not. There are hundreds of varifocals available on the market, um, probably thousands actually, because there's technology changes, the lenses improve, the, the you know, so yeah. The easiest way to sort of show you about the differences in design is to show you a picture. Okay, so I've actually got this done. So, this is a simple way of showing you how these things work. So this is a more basic varifocal, okay? So you can see here, if you can see the areas there, the sort of, the red areas here, you've got more distorted area and a very narrow sort of corridor of clear vision through that. Now that's a more basic lens design, so that's an entry level lens. Then we've got our mid-range lenses there, and as you can probably see from that picture, there we go, you've got less distortion and a wider area of clear vision all the way through the lens. And then you've got more of a top of the range, more technologically um, new design, where you've got even less areas of distortion and even wider areas of clear vision. So not all varifocals are equal unfortunately um, and not all varifocals between each optician are the same you know um, so yeah so when you're talking about varifocals you want to know the design what have they done to minimize the distortions in that how good is that design when was it released is it a new design are we looking at a design that's you know 10 or 20 years old or are we looking at something that's a year or two old and um, our best selling one actually is this the arc steady um, it's made here in the UK and um, it is actually an award-winning lens. When that was released in 2018, it, it instantly won an award for Lens Product of the Year. It was voted by the industry as being kind of the best, essentially. Um, and the results we get from that are absolutely amazing. So yeah, 
So that gives you a little bit of insight into Verifocals. As I say, I'm wearing Verifocals. I wear them all day, every day. Absolutely love them. Think they're fantastic. Um, what I'll do is I'll do a little video of the problems that people have. We don't shy away from that here at the Village Optician because some people, they do have problems with Verifocals. It's uh, how your brain deals with those different areas and those distorted areas. But um, to give yourself the best opportunity to get on with the Verifocal, you want to be choosing the best design, i.e. the one that minimizes the distortion and the one that gives you the widest and clearest areas of vision. Okay, hopefully that helps and uh, I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.